All right, buddy, are you ready? Good morning, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited for this video. <laughs> we are at a very unusual location because in today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys my brand new car. So a couple videos back on the RC car versus Lamborghini video, I told you guys that I was getting rid of the Lamborghini. And yes, I am. It's not sold just yet, but I have my brand new car. I'm literally looking at it. It's right in front of me. Ah! This thing is an absolute beauty. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the new car. We're gonna go drive it. We're gonna do some awesome stuff. So leave a like and well, I, I guess I gotta show you guys the car. Are you guys ready? I'm not ready to show you guys. I'm not ready. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, here it is. <laughs> this one, not, not that one, this one, this one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new car. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, this is my friend uh, Ted here. He's gonna be along the ride with us today in the new car. Is that right? It doesn't really talk much. For those of you curious, this is a 2016 Porsche GT3 RS. Whew, that's a mouthful. And yes, this car is purple. Yeah, I bought a purple car. What am I doing with my life, Ted? Help me. The exact color is ultraviolet purple. It's absolutely beautiful. It was kind of hard to get the color because the car's a little bit dirty. <laughs> I've been driving it a lot. And the fact that we're in a parking garage, so it is a little bit dark in here. But let's fire her up. She's quiet. It, it's a very quiet car. We're gonna fix that soon. <laughs> so right here, check this out. We got a ton of options that we can mess with here. We can open the valves. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it got a little bit, you know, deeper. We have suspension, which pretty much makes the suspension really, really stiff or very comfortable. Then we got sport mode. Yep, that, that's always gonna be on. Traction control. And with this button, we can raise the front of the car because the front of it is very, very low. So if you're going in any steep like driveways, you wanna raise the front of the car. Otherwise you're gonna scrape off the bumper. And um, yeah, no, no, we don't wanna do that. As you guys can clearly see, this car is a two seater, but you know, honestly, I think it's a three seater. I mean, come on, really? This has to be a seat. Like you could so easily fit in here. This car is definitely a three-seater. Not a two-seater, this, this is a seat. It might not be the safest seat, but it's a seat. Got quite a bit of room in there. Not bad, I approve. This car is also fitted with the biggest wing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, like, come on, I can literally stick my head through it and crawl through it. I mean, honestly. Oh, I'm cramping, I'm cramping, I'm cramping. Ah, I'm getting old. Ah, all of it, ooh, ooh. Unspeakable, do you really need a wing this big? Yes, yes I do. I think this wing applies like 500 pounds of downforce. That's literally like taking a 500 pound weight and setting it on the back of the car. But also not adding 500 pounds to the car because that would make it a lot slower. Anyways, it's cool. You also have these vents here on the side that actually go directly to the engine. I mean, you probably can't see the engine in there, but oh, wait, actually, let me show you guys the engine. Oh, you just pop this button right here and we can go ahead and open the back of it and that's the engine. That, that, that's it. That's literally it. You get two fans and I think it's powered by fans. Wow. Two fans. That, that's it. You got some of your oil and stuff over here and it, it's lit, that, that, yeah. So yeah, there's not really a trunk. Obviously, there's not really a trunk. That's why it's in the front and you call it a frunk. Sorry. Hey, Ted, is it called a frunk? That's what I thought. The key of this car is actually really cool because not only is it the color of the car, but it's also the shape of the car. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it there. The key is the shape of the car. What? Now this car is great, but this is the best feature. The fact that we actually have cup holders. Look at these beautiful things. My other car didn't have cup holders. Where was I supposed to put my drink? But now I got cup holders. I mean, they're all, oh, oh, nope. You go right back in there. No, nope, you go right back in there. No, nah, okay, how do you, add, oh my gosh. Well, they kind of work. Uh, whatever, Ted, I need you to move a little bit. Here we go, and okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the next uh, 40 seconds of me struggling to get in the back of the car. There's no back seats, it's just empty. But I'm gonna get in the back of the car. Oh gosh, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm not sitting in the back of the car. Like I said, there's not seats back here. There's not seat belts or anything. It's literally just like carpet. But I do have this beautiful wheel of fortune and uh, you guys can't even see it. I gotta get out, give me a second. 
trying not to scratch anything. Okay, this is gonna sit in the front seat here. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Oh, wait, there it does. There. Oh, let me show you guys what the back looks like. Check this out. Okay, so we're in the back. Like I said, there's no seats. This is not a seat. It's literally just a bunch of carpet. But you have the logo back here, which is pretty cool. That's nice of them to do, you know, just to let them know that, you, hey, you're in a GC3 RS. You can also see the massive wing from back here. This is perfect for storage space. You can put like suitcases back here, and more suitcases. Definitely not people. How am I supposed to squeeze through this? Look at this, my foot barely fits through it. How did I even get in here, honestly? Oh wow, getting out was a lot easier. So, this is our, our Wheel of Fortune, and we're gonna go drive the car, but the question is, how should we drive it? Let's see what we're gonna land on. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're gonna send it. All right, you know, it's just a normal day, just getting in my car, trying to start it, and... Uh, what? Um, where do I put the key? Ted, can you can you tell me where the key goes? Do I do I put um does it go there? No. Oh! Alright, so so it goes over here. So you guys are probably like, why in the world is the key on the left side of the car? And I was actually curious, why does Porsche put their keys on the left side? Why don't they just put them on the right side like every other car that exists in the universe? And the reason the key is on the left side is because when Porsche's in racing, obviously manuals, this one is not a manual, but if it was a manual, for Porsche to be faster than their competitors this is one of the things they did. So the driver can get in the car, start it, and also put it in first gear at the same time instead of having two hands over here and like, yeah. You can start the car and throw it in first all at the same time. I think that's just cool, it's creative. All right, buddy, are you ready? All right, well, I'm ready too, I'm ready to send it. So you normally have your paddle shifters right here, but you can shift with this, so you can be like, wah, 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 wah. Oh, we're going. Wah, wah. I don't know, I like to get creative with it. It's fun. Downshift, and then if you pull back, it upshifts into the next gears. Oh! Oh my gosh. I, I honestly did not think I was gonna scrape on that. Wow. All right, Ted, are you ready for this? The Wheel of Fortune said send it. since we're in a little bit better of lighting, check out the color of this car. Absolutely beautiful. This thing is just, oh, Ted, look at you in there. Okay, you gotta admit, that wing is like stupid. Like, it's so big, like, honestly. Okay, back, back, back to the cinematic shot, sorry. Seriously, what a car, like, oh my gosh. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. And this thing is going to be a ton of fun as well. I have so many plans for this car. I really wanna do gold rims. Right now the rims are like silver, as you can see right there. They're kind of like a silver, in some lights they kind of look white, but they're definitely silver. I really wanna do gold rims, because for me, purple and gold, it, ah! I think that would look so sick. I don't know if I'm going to like paint them gold yet or get completely different rims. I'm not really sure yet. And then we gotta do exhaust on this car. I mean, it's so quiet. Listen to this. So this is with the valves open. Listen. Like, don't get me wrong. It sounds good. It's pretty loud, but like, you like loud cars, right, Ted? He likes really loud cars. So we gotta we got give him what he wants. 
then after that, I think that will pretty much be it. I'm thinking about getting roll cage back here. I'm not really sure. I love the way roll cages look in this car. I, I might, I, I don't know, maybe. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Now, real quick, before you guys go, I have a couple things to say and a couple things to talk about. Number one, a lot of you guys got super mad at me because in the hydraulic press video, the Lamborghini was still in my garage and all of you guys thought I was lying to you, that I wasn't getting rid of it and all this stuff. I am getting rid of the car. It just takes time. It takes time to get rid of a car like that. It, it's not like a quick sell. It, it takes time. So if you see the car in another vlog like a week from now, still in the garage, believe me guys, I am getting rid of it. I'm not lying to you. This is the car that's replacing it, as you can see. Another thing I wanna say is when I make car videos like this, a lot of people like really hate me. Not too many, but there is a group of people that, that hate me. They think I'm flexing on you guys. And what? what? Oh, I'm flexing, look at me, I'm flexing flexing not this type of flexing like flexing is like hey look at me i got a nice car blah blah i'm not trying to flex i'm simply showing you guys my new car that's all it is i didn't buy this car to show off i bought it because i love cars i really do and if you guys know cars if you're watching this and you know cars you know that this car the gc3 rs is a true driver's car and that is the main reason i bought it is because i love driving i love taking cars around the track i really want to track this car a lot i want to take it to the track and that's honestly another passion of mine is cars i mean like i like literally like love car like i don't you love cars ted <laughs> me and ted likes cars that's why i wanted to go for a ride right isn't that right <laughs> I'm not trying to flex on you guys. I'm not trying to like purposely like show off and be like, oh, look what I got. <laughs> if you guys work hard in life and dedicate yourself to something that you're really passionate about, you can achieve and get results just as I did. You can build massive YouTube channels or maybe it's not a YouTube channel. Maybe it's a different business that you wanna do. Anything that you set your mind to and really dedicate and discipline yourself to, you can make it happen, I promise. Cause that's what I did and well, here I am. And I honestly feel like I just got started with this journey with YouTube. I, I feel like I just got started with this vlog channel. The vlog Vlog channel has only been up for two years. Two years, that's it. It's just crazy, but I wanna thank you guys so much for all the loving support and for all of you guys watching all my videos, hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button because without you guys, none of this would be possible. Thank you guys so much and I will continue to try my hardest to give you guys the best and most entertaining content. I know this was definitely a different video. We didn't build like a massive like Lego tower. We also didn't throw you off like a roof or something. Yeah, that wasn't too crazy. We pretty much just checked out the new car, but I think it's cool. I like making videos. It's a passion so i like making car videos i would absolutely love to make some videos in the future when i take this car to the track i would love to do that leave a like if you guys want to see that but anyways guys that is gonna wrap it up for this video this is the new car let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it do you love it hate it is it ugly should i have not gotten purple just let me know it's okay you're not gonna hurt my feelings what matters thank you i think what matters the most is uh that i love it all right let's go eat some tacos right ted Let's go. That, I hope the camera's gonna, yeah, that, that's not gonna work. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic yesterday, and I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog.